Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Detroit. You guys love this series so much. By the time of me recording this video, we have over 19,000 likes on Detroit Become Human Part 2. I told you guys that I would upload a new video every single day as long as you guys leave a like on the video so I know you guys want more. So let's see if we can break over 19,000 likes, but no more talking. We're just going to jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. No androids allowed? Says who? Savage. Savage life right there. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Yeah, this guy's hair is... Uh! Lieutenant Anderson is who? Oh, and before I continue, I thought the locks at the end of the mission, like the ones that aren't unlocked yet, I thought that I wasn't exploring the mission enough. You only get one ending per mission, so those are like different paths I could have taken. So I was taking my time. I was taking my time. So we're just going to go at the same pace we did last episode. They're not allowed in here, but I'm a motherfucking boss. Which one is Lieutenant Anderson? All right, who are you? Johan Kim? Surprise, surprise. What about you? Lieutenant? Edward Dempsey. He was born 1995? So this old looking fuck is younger than me? Get out of here. What about you? Jonah Graham, born 1987. Okay, what about this guy? No, not you. Jimmy Peterson? I'm talking about this guy right here. With the no face. Hank Anderson, there we go. Born 1985, police lieutenant, criminal record, none. Let me talk to you. Lieutenant Anderson. Let me chat you My up name for is a second. Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Reason, threaten, understanding. Let's try to understand. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but actually, you know what? I don't think that was a good answer. He seems like a dickhole. Crush you like an empty beer can. Fuck. Persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. Do you know where you can stick your instructions? Let me guess. <laughs> Between my no. cheeks. Where? Never mind. Fuck. He's tense. Let me buy him another drink. You know what? Let me I'll loosen him up. The road. He's a little tense. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. Oh, yeah. See that gym wonders the technology. Neutral. Make it a double. That's what I like. Okay, we gotta get this guy in the mood. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice. You wait here. I won't be long. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. No way. I'm coming with you. Tense Listen. again. You really okay, need to I need to buy this guy another drink. You want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. Fine. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Man, I gotta be a little bitch boy. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's go. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Wait, let me scan the area. Everything looks good. Okay. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Says who? It's with me. I'm a he. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. 
Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. Yeah. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Use R1 to switch the camera angle. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so I thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. Okay. I don't like this angle. It's too far away. Gives me a creepy vibe. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Damn. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. He sounds like Bigby from Wolf there Among for a Us. Good three weeks. Kind of like it. Gets here. It's a nice voice. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably. Hold on. Before we continue listening in. Be the murder weapon. I'm gonna look at some of the Any things over here. Break in. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. Red ice. Acetone, Time. lithium, therium. The killer must have I can't read the rest of them. What do we know Victim about used hand? drugs. Not much. And then the he wrote, I am alive on the one, thing, and then he died. He wasn't here when we arrived. Weird. I, I gotta get some air. Let's check Make this out. At home. I'll be outside if you need me. That wasn't anything? Oh, wait, there's more right here. I don't want to skip anything. Oh, yeah, taste the blood. Oh, Jesus, yes, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm That's sorry. pretty cool. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't <laughs> put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got what, you want me to put it in my ass? I gotta put it in my oh, mouth. Fucking hell, I can't believe That's what I was shit. programmed to do. Dried blood, DNA analysis, Ortiz Carlos. Wait, who's this guy? Is this Carlos Ortiz? It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Naifu. No fingerprints, android involvement? Maybe, baby. Because androids don't have fingerprints, huh? Because why would they? They're Chris, androids. Is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. What's this? Blood on the doorknob? Dried blood, Carlos Ortiz. Sample date, less than 19 days? Or greater than 19 days? Huh. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked it part. Fingerprints, criminal record, what? That shit goes too fast! Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Okay, there's a lot of blood Consider over here. Done, Lieutenant. A lot of action went down over here. This guy really likes the dancing girls. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Says who? Let me interview those people. Says who? You know what? I wouldn't mind, you know, some androids. You fool me. Murder weapon taken from here. Okay, so somebody got him with a kitchen knife. Food. And then maybe they broke in from here. So they broke in from here, grabbed the knife, slashed that dude like a fish on Sunday night. And wait, there's a baseball bat. Hold on. Uh... Fingerprints. Okay, so Carlos used the bat. I guess he was like self-defending. Violent impact, traces of Ethereum. So maybe it was the android. Let's see. That's Carlos. He obviously got his ass beat. Deviant took a knife. Okay. But what happened before that? Deviant was attacked, emotional shock. Wait, so maybe the android was in the house the whole time. And then after he got provoked like this, then he took the knife and said, Motherfucker! And that was that. 
Let's see. What's in here? There's only one? Obsessive writing. Look around using the right stick. Religious offering? Hmm. One more little trace of evidence. Where would that be? It's gotta be here in the backyard. This game is so interesting. Model K52 DPD. Door what is that? From the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks then why are we just investigating it now? No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape this way. This guy's smart. You smart. Okay, we gotta figure out where this guy left from. The ceiling? Hmm. Let me check him out. Come on, guys, get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer. Than Damn. Look at all those stab wounds. 28 knife wounds? Damn. This guy got messed up! Red ice. Okay, so it's still in his system. Uh. No, I want to look at his eye. Carlos Ortiz. He's only 5'6", 286 pounds, estimated time of death 11.30pm. He was stabbed. 28 times. Goodness. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Regular letters, font, Cyberlife Sans. So it was an android that wrote it. need one more trace of evidence. It's on this guy. There's something weird in the bathroom. What is it? There's one more clue. Where would you be? Right here in his hand. Okay. So before he died, He stumbled behind his chair. Victim fell here. All right. Ooh, got stabbed 28 times. That's just overkill. They came from the kitchen. No shit. And then, victim was stabbed. He crawled over there, victim fell here. Oh, and he got stabbed even more? Jesus. Okay. We found all ten clues. Let's discuss this. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. Here we go. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... Without a weapon. With the bat. With the bat? Yeah. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. I gotta put my thinking cap on, guys. The victim stabbed the android, and the android stabbed the victim. 
yeah. The android through the chair. No, that can't be right. Fuck. It doesn't fit the evidence. The victim stabbed the android. The android stabbed the, the victim. The android stabbed the victim. He grabbed the knife. So the android and he slashed gas, cut a hole in his ass. Right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. Right? The living room. Yeah, he kept stumbling back. And then he eventually fell over in the chair. And he was getting those combo breakers with the knife. Away from the just stabbing away. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... With the knife. With the knife. Just kept stabbing okay. him. Look at that shit! The theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Oh. Nice. Hank's starting to trust us. I like it. We're becoming besties. Best buds, you and me. Alright. Therium, a.k.a. Blue Blood. I see it. I see it. Looking like jizz on the floor. Wait a minute. It went down this way. Interesting. Uh oh. Is he behind here? Why was that low key scary? Freaking mobs jump scared me? A ladder. A ladder was used. Maybe he's on the roof. <gasps> He's in the attic. My dude! My boy's in the attic. Find something to climb. Okay, one of you guys, I need to climb on your back. Let's see here. Uh, the chair. Okay. I'm hey, kind of hey, scared. Hey, what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'm taking it home with me. It's a nice chair. And I need a new one. What do you think I'm gonna do with this shit? God, you're a dumbass lieutenant. Oh man, please don't jump scare me, man. Woo! Oh, I do not like that silhouette. Get the fuck out of here. This is so scary. I know he's gonna just attack me. I see that blood on the bottom. Whoa! I'm one of you, man. I got that blue blood too. I'm also scared, very scared. We're homies, right? Oh, I don't know if we're homies. I see that red. Oh, fuck me. So silly. Whoa! I was just defending myself. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. 
Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. I was gonna let him go. Come on. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna give me an option. I for real was gonna let him go. That was scary. Okay, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. So that's a different path that we could have taken. But overall, we did pretty good. I feel like we should do one more, guys. Let's go. Man, I was hoping that it would give us the option to let him go or say that he was up in the attic. Or playing his car again. This one was really interesting to me. Because this guy is a drug addict. Todd. He's mean to his daughter. But I'm pretty sure it's for a good reason. I'm not saying it's a good reason that he's a drug addict. But I'm saying, like... He's on some antidepressants, so obviously something's going on, and I really want to figure it out right now. Dinner is ready. So I'm glad that we're playing as this girl again. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Okay. And when we were looking through that book when Alice gave us the key, I think that Kara snapped on the little girl because she had, like, a gash on her head and blood was coming out. And then she probably told the dad, and then the dad was so mad that Kara did that that he beat the shit out of this android. And Alice is scared. I think Alice is scared of Kara because maybe she malfunctioned or something. All right, here we go. Is it good? Turn on the lights. Um, why the fuck? Turn on the lights. I'm about to. See shit. You can't see shit. I can see the spaghetti. Blind ass. All right, where's the light at? The light's over there. You lazy bum. It's like two steps. Here we go. Everybody good? Let me get the napkins ready. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care uh, of this goddamn this? house. And we'll give you some. Fucking Alice. Alice? I'm trying to give Alice water. Joke. How do I. What? I thought. Of course, Andrew. Alice, I'm, so I'm trying to give you water. Fucking wonderful. Mother ass. There you go. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. Nag, nag, Stop nag, moving nag, around. nag. For Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. Okay, fuck. I'll just look at you. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. This guy's Fucking creeping bitch me took out. Off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Oh. It's all your fault. You know how long it took me to make that spaghetti? Fucking fault. Whoa! Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. How do I stop him? You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. Or I took off without a word. I want to move, guys. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! She even give a shit about how I felt. Maybe I gotta Everything wait till I he's drugged up. Her happy. I don't want to move, guys. I don't want to risk it. I just wasn't good enough for. That little fucking brat. What do I do? Do I just go? It's all her fault. I feel like I gotta wait till he like passes out or something. I gotta teach her some respect. I kind of want to move. Uh, 
There you go. I think he's in the zone now. What the hell? I know what I gotta do. No! Alice! Put that Daddy's belt down! Very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson! A good fucking lesson. This guy is so scary. Oh my goodness. That is so creepy. Okay, I'm moving. Dallas. I'm not letting that douchebag hurt her. Come on. Let's go. Is there anything that I can use to protect myself? Do something now. Okay. Alice. I'm going. Oh, shit. Wait. There, there's a gun. There's a gun in here. I remember. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Locked and loaded. Let's go. I got that aim bot aim. Let's go. Let's go. That's enough. Leave her alone. The fuck you do? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order. No. I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. No, 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 no. Oh, let's go. Oh yeah, too slow. Oh, joke them! Watch out, Kara! I got you, I got you, I got you! Come here, bitch! Whoa! Come on now! You know what I do! Get on me, you pig! Oh yeah! Stop, Dad! Don't hurt her! Come on, let's go!
I thought it was so dope. How, like, once she broke through that barrier, the way she was talking, didn't it feel like she was talking like a human? Because before, she was just responding like a typical android. Like, yes, I will get your water. I will make your dinner. But once she broke through that barrier, she was like, don't touch her, you know, get away from her. It sounded like she had some emotions, so this is really interesting. But anyway, guys, I am going to end this episode of Detroit Become Human here. Remember, guys, if you want an episode of this series every single day, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too! <laughs>